How long can you really hold your breath? Have you ever tried to see how long you can last? Maybe in a swimming pool or just for fun? Some people can hold their breath for a seriously long time. The world record is over 24 minutes. But for most of us, it's a much shorter and sometimes panicky experience. So what's actually happening inside your body when you decide to stop breathing? It's a fascinating battle between your willpower and your basic survival instincts. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more cool facts. Let's break it down. When you hold your breath, you're not just depriving your body of fresh oxygen. The real drama starts with carbon dioxide, or CO2. As your cells continue to work, they produce CO2 as a waste product which is normally expelled when you exhale. But if you're not exhaling, that CO2 starts to build up in your bloodstream. This is where your brain steps in. Your brainstem has super sensitive chemoreceptors that constantly monitor the levels of CO2 and oxygen in your blood. As the CO2 level rises, it changes the pH of your blood, making it slightly more acidic. This change sends alarm bells ringing in your brain. Your brain's number one job is to keep you alive, and it sees this rising CO2 as a major threat. It starts sending increasingly frantic signals to your diaphragm and rib muscles, screaming, breathe, breathe now. This is what causes that uncomfortable burning sensation in your chest, and that involuntary muscle twitching you feel. Did. It's your body's desperate attempt to force you to take a breath. No. You might feel your throat closing up, or your diaphragm contracting powerfully. This is the breaking point for most people. Your willpower is strong, but your brain's survival instinct is stronger. Eventually, no matter how hard you try to resist, your brain will override your conscious control and force you to gasp for air. This built-in safety mechanism is amazing, but it can be dangerous in certain situations, especially underwater. If you push yourself too far while swimming and faint from a lack of oxygen in a condition known as shallow water blackout, your brain will still trigger that involuntary gasp for air. But instead of air, you'll inhale water. This is why it's incredibly important to never practice holding your breath alone in the water. So, in the contest between you and your brain, your brain almost always wins to keep you safe. It's a powerful reminder of how incredible our bodies are at self-preservation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the science behind holding your breath, Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more biology facts. See you in the next one.